This tattoo shop saved lives last summer. It was a hideout for those escaping a gunman in one of the city's most devastating mass shootings on the Danforth. Tonight, Skin Deep Inked is hosting a grand reopening almost a year after the incident, an important moment for a community still healing. I feel like she, you know, does more than she's asked and more than a regular business owner has to do. We thought it was really amazing what they did um, the night of. The night this city will never forget. A mass shooting on the Danforth. A gunman killing two young girls and injuring 13 other people. That night, owner Tanya Wilson saved the lives of a mother and son by hiding them in her tattoo parlor. The shop officially reopening tonight. After everything that happened with the shooting and stuff, um, I felt like it was much needed for me to take like a personal kind of step back just to deal with my own mental health and kind of just regroup and rebuild. Not only rebuilding and recovering, but also becoming an advocate, teaming up with local organizations like the Turk Foundation to help combat gun violence through youth programming. It's honestly a, an amazing organization and coming from kind of a harder background that I came from, I feel like it's really important. We're a community-based program where we deal with a lot with inner communities. So we'll deal with the West End community, with the East End community, and we're bringing communities together. And I think what she did in that event today is kind of the foundation of what we do as well. We want to bring people out that normally would never cross paths with each other. The community coming out in full support of tonight's event. Why did you decide to come and be a part of this event tonight? I felt tragic about it, so when uh, the owner asked me to help out, I just, of course, no question. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be involved with this. I don't even live in the neighborhood anymore. I used to live in the neighborhood, but I just want to be um, just, just showing the youth especially uh, just connection and positivity and just union. What kind of music are you planning on playing here tonight? Stuff that's not like uh, glorifying uh, neighborhood crimes and mm -hmm. death and gun violence and stuff like that. Like, you know, mm -hmm. um, just positive vibes. The owner also being incredibly generous despite having taken a huge hit for having her business closed for so long. Some of tonight's proceeds will be going to the Turk Foundation to help combat gun violence. For City News, I'm Tina Anthony.